Hey guys, Samantha the Card Girl here. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. I had to come on and do a video for the first day, uh, first official day of autumn. Uh, happy first day of autumn. <laughs> happy autumn equinox. I am beyond excited that this day is finally here. I have started decorating, uh, decorating and been celebrating since September 1st, although I still have to decorate outside. It's, um, you see, I'm in a tank top and I'm in shorts. It's very hot and buggy, although right now it's rainy and the skies are gray, so I've got my orange lights lit behind me, and then to, uh, or above my picture window, to the front yard, and then also orange lights above my picture window that faces the backyard. Um, so just having a day and I'm just taking time, I'm gonna clean the house, do try to do as much deep cleaning as I can before everyone comes home. Um, put on some of my favorite YouTube videos and um, I also wanted to do a card pull and I am going through I don't want to pull out my Halloween decks just yet but I looked at my darker and more like one's best for autumn anyway and so I thought I would pick from the magic of you Oracle um, I did this tried to do this video once before and then my dog bumped the table and the tripod went flying and it messed things up. So this is take two. Let's hope it goes. Let's hope it works. Um, so the card that I pulled, I did keep the card because it's the message is amazing. But it's um, Minimus and it's Commune with Source. I'm going to, hopefully I can get this to where there's no glare and you can read it. Um but I love the message in this and the image, especially with the veil getting thinner and thinner, right? It's going to be easier. It's like now is the time to tap into that energy and your higher self. Um, literally go in the woods and just, just sit with nature and see what messages and thoughts and feelings come through. Um, it's a powerful time for that. And I love how accurate this is for me as well. Um, because with the haunted attraction that, uh, starts this Friday, actually, and I want to talk about that also, um, it's by the Binghamton, New York airport, uh, in the woods, obviously. Um, and so the trails are very active and I have a spirit box. So I've been walking the trails when I go up to help get that ready, you know, like work on the site and stuff. And, um... I have gotten voices come through and it, once I was walking with one of the scarers um, and I said, do you have enough energy to touch me so that I can feel it? And I felt like fingers brush my my uh, yeah, arm <laughs> and uh, like that was really cool. And I said, thank you. Cause you know, I'm the nut who loves to being touched and you know, appropriately of course, but you know, it fascinates me. Um, but I guess I wouldn't be a paranormal investigator if it didn't, right? Um, so, yeah, if you're going through something and you're stuck on a situation or you're not sure what to do or where to turn, take time for yourself. Get out in nature and just listen to what's around you, who's around you. Listen to your higher self because I think you're going to get some powerful and amazing messages um, doing that. Um, so I want to show you my lips. <laughs> this is my lipstick for my slaughter. I call it my slaughterland face because I'm going to be like all purples and grays. My eyes are going to be made up nice and I'm going to have blush and uh, fake eyelashes and glitter. I do want to do a video. In fact, probably the next video I make will be either dress rehearsal, which is this Thursday, or opening night Friday, because um, I'll get there early. I can't take you like down the trails and show you the attractions because we're not allowed to leak leak that stuff, um, but I can at least keep you in the midway. I can show you, you know, where my booth is and some of the other cool stuff up there. Um, but here is a poster that I have been given. So it's Slaughterland Screen Park. And there are four main attractions with Dark Magic, Wendigo Woods, Bright Mirrors 3D and Fallen Fairgrounds. Um, and the green is the, when we're open. But um, it also has some smaller stuff too. Like you walk through a cemetery and a, 
uh, butcher's area and um, something that they're calling Vortex. And it's the facade is, you know, it's just meant to throw off her equilibrium a little bit. And I haven't been in that one. In fact, the only one I attraction I have been in is Dark Magic because I got to help build the shelves. I'm having such a blast with it. So, so excited. I can't wait to show you guys at least the, the center part of that. Um, I don't think if there's anything else. Oh, I did try to make part two of the Favorites, Forevers, and Forgotten's video. Um, and surprise, <laughs> I get maybe halfway through and it cuts me off and says uh, no storage space. So <laughs> it always happens. I take way too many pictures. Um, so I've got to go through and delete. I could do this video because it's not as long as the other one is going to be. But it wouldn't let me do that one. So that's still in the works. I have not forgotten about it. All right. I will talk to you guys later on this week. Bye.